What I want to talk about now is visualization because I'd say 5% of kids probably do this, maybe less. So we talked about this a lot in our new hitting course. We go through a 15 step plan of what you're going to do from the time you put your batting gloves on until the at bat's over. One of the steps is visualization. So we were just talking about the on deck circle. You're using it for timing. Oh, right? timing. We, we talk about timing. Talk about, you had mentioned even before that. So yeah, when you're in even, the hole. Even in the hole, I don't need a bat or anything. I'll just hold my hands. And I'll just get slow timing. And then probably before that is when I'd start to visualize, staying through the middle, beating the shortstop right over his head. Right. Because I'm a lefty. I want to stay middle of the field. And a lot of people, too, like they'll get up and they'll already be down in the count 0-2. And all they're thinking is, don't strike out, don't strike out, don't strike out. And what happens? Yeah, you strike, you strike out. out. So visualize before you ever get in the box that you're going to stay middle and get a right. barrel instead of thinking don't strike out. Right. I think too many players waste time in the dugout doing a thousand things that yep. not going to help them hit at all. So if on deck circles timing and in the hole you said you're still timing, right? Mm -hmm. Like you're still trying to figure out when do I have to get ready, when do I have to get my foot off up off the ground. Before then, it doesn't even have to be actually just no. before then. It could be, you could be seven hitters away from hitting. Yep. But it's, and I like to go helmet on, bat and gloves on, bat in hand, and literally close my eyes and think about whatever the situation mm -hmm. could be. Right, you've been watching the pitcher, so you know what they have. Yep. Let's say they have, you know, whatever, make up a, a speed for a fastball. I'm seeing that fastball crossing the plate and I'm in, I'm visualizing myself like you said get a barrel on him like getting behind the ball smoking a ball through the middle of the field. and I'm just replaying it in my head yeah. over and over and over again and another part that I'd focus on while I'm doing that is focusing on my breathing slowing down my heart rate and just being grounded and being in the moment once it comes instead of goofing off and then the moment comes and I'm unprepared yes and how many times <laughs> We, we both see this all the time. You'll see players that are supposed to be getting their timing down on deck, and they don't have a helmet on or anything, and then all of a sudden, the hitter at the plate gets a quick hit, and, and you're supposed rushing. to go on deck, and you're rushing, or, and you're like, where's my or, helmet? Or where's you need to tell a guy to slide in and out or stand up, and he's not there. Right, exactly, yeah. So the biggest thing is doing all that homework early, and making sure that you don't feel rushed. And you just mentioned breathing. If you're rushed, then the game starts to speed mm -hmm. up. If you don't feel like, oh, I, I didn't get my timing down because I didn't have my helmet ready, and then I rushed the on-deck yep. circle, and then they swung first pitch, and now I've got to go to the plate, now your brain exactly. starts speeding up. And now if I get my batting gloves on, my helmet on the bat, and I do visual, visualization stuff first, now I can go over there and people that have, have gone off the pitcher already, right. I can go and talk to them. What do you see? What What's spinning? How's the umpire look? What's the catcher stealing for pitches? Like, I need, there's more information to the game that I can get that I don't do by sitting at the end of the dugout and goofing off. Right. Yeah, exactly. So, if you haven't done that before, we both highly suggest, it should be mandatory visualization. And if you're a coach, explain the players because players won't really know this unless you tell them, unless you force them, right? Like, they're not gonna, most players, 99% of players aren't gonna go do this by themselves. No. You might have the one special player that does, but if you're a coach, you have to say, okay, on the on-deck circle, this is what we do, we get our timing down, this is how we do it. When you're in the hole, this is what you're doing, this is how you're getting your timing down. When you're before the hole, you know, you're three away from hitting, at that point, you're visualizing, and you tell them, Put your helmet on, put your batting gloves on, get your bat, sit right here at the end of the bench. You can let your whole team know, like, this part of the bench, that's for the guy. He's visualizing. And that's your job. And make him do it. And then once you train him, go do it. And how he just put it all in little sections like that, just so then it makes one big picture, which is the at-bat and getting a hit and getting a good swing off and being prepared. Right, building all the way up to that point. All right, so try that if you haven't. I know 100% it'll help you out.